the Islamic Information Society of Calgary. <laughs> So who's gonna go first? Uh, how about, okay, me and this kid are gonna be the two. So let us go let's first. Take, let's let's take, take, take. There's some in here, guys. Is it sweat also? What do you think so far about the camp? I want my mo mommy, man. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about your teammate? The statement that he your teammate made. He's weak. I'll change him by the end of today. Doing it. I said I, I, I'm in this camp to lose weight, so <laughs> I weighed myself before. I'm 75 now. If I get down to 73 in three days, you'll be good. They told me you were expecting expecting this camp for everybody to sit around a fire and yeah, just have, talk, a, time, have a good time. A little bit of barbecue. It's <laughs> part of your teammates was ready to quit. Huh? But are you are you planning to quit? No, I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Don't right. worry, he's not gonna quit. Don't worry. Are you gonna I'll change his mind? Yes, I'm gonna change. All right. Mind. All right. All right. Let's have two divisions. Let's have Mecca and Medina. What division is this? Medina. Mecca. Medina. Mecca. Medina. Mecca. Medina. Mecca. Medina. Mecca. Medina. Mecca. Medina. Assalamu alaikum. What group is this? Benu Hashim representing. Ooh. We're gonna be number one group here. Benu Hashim is most, the most least organized. Come on, guys. No, no, we're organized right here like this. Who's the Amir? Huh? Umar right there. That's Umar. Yeah. Ooh. So what, why did you choose Umar? Because, you know, he's a knowledgeable brother, you know. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My brother, where are you from? No, 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 no. Where are you from? Where you? No, you're from Mecca. Mecca. You're from Ben Hashem. Where are you from? Ben Hashem. That's right. We are from Ben Hashem. Do you know who that is? That is the tribe of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you know what that means? That means we have courage. That means we have heart. And that's what we've been doing all this day, inshallah. We're going to bring it. Tonight is the final event. Tonight, we're going to do it, inshallah. We're going to bring it all together. As a team, we're going to strive. And we're going to win, inshallah. Because that's what the Prophet Sallallahu He struggled and he did it, Alhamdulillah. So that's what we're going to do. We represent that. We represent the heart. We represent the effort. We represent the courage. So what are we going to do, brothers? Are we going to win? Are we going to make it, inshallah? Yes, we are. Are we going to make it, inshallah? inshallah? Yes, we are. Yes. Who's the Amir? I am. Oh, mashallah. And what is the name, the name, the name of your team? Bani Tamim. Bani Tamim. Hey Abu Bakr, what tribe was he? Very funny. Good job, Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. Now I'm not a man of public speeches, but this is the most important speech probably I'm going to give in my life. It is, it is. Now when they introduced me to my team, all I saw is these faces, beautiful faces. I saw that Hassan in this face, these good glad tidings, these nice comfortable faces, all right? And I had Husn al everyone here, everyone. And you guys pulled through, you guys pulled through. Mu'min, Mu'min was all saying, it was Allah that made us win, Allah that made us win. He was, the, he was basically the spiritual leader behind us. Shuhaib, he's a fast runner, I don't know if you know him, but he's the athlete here. Shuhaib, this guy is the brains behind us. He actually did the pyramid by himself, that diamond. He's the funny guy. Every time we were tensed, he made us lose. This guy right here is an all-star. This guy did it all. And this guy here is a sharp kid. 
you know, he did the coffee, he had had the methodology for the coffee, and he even did the math question in two seconds probably. And who I'm missing? Myself. Well, I learned. I actually didn't do nothing. I learned from these guys. I was like a coach. I knew what hidden talents they had, and it just popped out from each and every one of them. And now, this is the final stretch. What did we write in our boards? What did we write in our boards? Let's take it home. Let's take it home. This is the first thing what we wrote on our board, it's taken home. So let's take this baby home and put this flag on that dock. Inshallah. As <laughs> Boys, how are you guys? Good, good. Yeah, what te what's your team's name? Aus. Aus. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Now, Aus, uh, who's your Amir? Badr uh, Ahsan. MashaAllah. And so you're in charge of everything and everything goes wrong and MashaAllah under your shoulder. MashaAllah. So the Amir who was first to, last to eat, first to get up, first to follow, and last to claim, com complain. All right then. MashaAllah. All right. Assalamu alaikum brothers. Wa alaikum assalam wa I represent my team Aus. Okay. Aus. How many the people house. came here? How many brothers came to this camp thinking it's going to be a vacation? How many brothers just came here because your family sent you or your sister signed you up or you know, somebody, somebody, somebody's like, oh no, no, I'm going to send my son there, I'm going to send my kids there. What did we come here for? We came to learn leadership, alright? You're tired right now, you're weak. This is when you're going to be tested the most, when you're weak. Can you rise up? Can you become a leader? Look at our youth today. We're the youth. When we go back to Calgary and your schools and we're in your universities, how many youth do you see have gone astray? When is it going to change? We got to stop the dilution. We need to what? Come here, Ahmed. What do we got to do? Learn. Learn. Arise and lead. All right? And it starts right now. Let's do it. Who's in the house? House. Who's in the house? House. Who's in the house? House. Yeah. House. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job, Hi guys, what's your group? What's your team name? Khazraj. Khazraj. Ah. So how many of you guys? Six. Six. So do you know what's the next step? Yes, sir. Choosing the Amir. Oh, you're choosing the Amir. So you chose Amir. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Who's Amir? Gizm. Gizm, you're the Amir of the group. I'm screwed. So, so that means if anything goes wrong, you're responsible. All right. Okay. Salam guys. Wa alaikum salam. Okay. for all your hard work so far. You guys have been doing great. Jazakallah khair. We did every other event. We did great for each of, each one and every one. We great. We did awesome effort for all of them. Alhamdulillah. All we have to do is finish strong. Inshallah. This is the last thing we have. This is this is the end of the day. This is the end of the year. This is, this is all we have. We got to push it out. At the end of the day, after we're done, there's a nice barbecue waiting for us. Just imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe don't imagine it's going to be more <laughs> But think about the reward at the end, inshallah. And think about it. You are the youth. We are the youth. If we can't do this, who can? This is it, guys. This is it. If you think you're, if you think you're the youth, if you think that you're the future, what have you got? What have we got? Let's do it, inshallah. What tribe is this? Khazraj! Oh, what tribe is this? Khazraj! What tribe is this? Khazraj! Leadership can be defined in a lot of different types of ways at our camps and many things that you see me doing. I define leadership as the ability to get somebody to do something they wouldn't normally have done it without you being there. The ability to get somebody to do something they wouldn't normally have done without you being there. By the definition of itself, you can see that you can be a good leader and you can be a bad leader because you can <laughs> influence people to do something evil or influence people to do something good. So that by itself is leadership. But because, and I like how this is done, when I looked at it, I mean, people see different things, but I looked at the levels. You put leadership, and then look at the example of leadership is above it. What a wonderful example of leadership. Because if you look at real leadership, and how, you know, it's, it's so wonderful that we, that we have such a role model as Abu Bakr. As Abu Bakr but we, none of us knew him personally. And if you did, don't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> none of us knew him personally. Really. And the thing is, but we know him through his attributes, through his characteristics that we know about. The Islamic Information Society of Calgary.